Hello, this is ScarRail47 here with an introduction to my layout, Dean Burn Junction. So we'll start over here. This is, this is the storage sidings as they stand just now. We have two tracks to our right, and we have two curved, longer storage sidings. One of which curves round under the embankment and out here and will eventually loop round and back to here to form a goods loop. So you can run long goods trains constantly because otherwise there won't be much room for op goods operation in a terminus siding. So now we'll move on to the station approach. Okay, so here we have the main lines coming in through the tunnel from the storage sidings where they branch off and split. This point work allows and this slip over there allows any train from any siding to go into any platform. So this branch off, this branches round with Hornby second radius curves. I don't like using the second radius curves but they're really useful space wise and they're always better than first. So here we have a Y point, the only one on the left, which splits here will come the goods loop which will run round and join up to here then here this will split into platform 1 which will run all the way into the end of the platforms back over here we have the two main lines approaching here this is platform 2 with the two Backman Mark 1's at the moment and again in platform 3 we have the Intercity 225 as you can see here from platform 2 because of a lot of planned local operations on the layout we have a split sorry not a split, a loop to allow layouts to run around and then here So then from the approach road, from the main line here, this splits off on your left through this really tight curve, which really makes, stretches the carriages. I really don't like, so I'm going to need to think up of a solution to this, which tries not to compromise space. Here we have platforms 4 and 5. As you can see, platform 4 runs off into the branch line, platform 5 branches off platform 4 and joins back up there. So this platform can act as another loop for if a train comes in to platform 4, or platform 5 of course, and that needs a local run around basically. Now I'm thinking of maybe put, turning platform 5 into kind of a Royal Mail type, well like a parcels platform, which could also be used for passenger activities, for lack of a better word, but tell me what you think of that. And also, platform 5 can be used for, the over, for overflow engines at the TMD. Leading down from platforms 4 and 5, this point, it's done here into the TMD. Main traction main TMD or traction maintenance depot of Deanburn. But it will be known as Deanburn TMD as that is the name of the station. So we have the Hornby diesel maintenance depot, which I know isn't the most isn't the best kit on the market, but I always wanted one. And since I since I had my small run around layout so I have to so I got one and I'm going to detail and weather it and add lighting so look out for our videos on that now it's not complete I, as you can tell most of the layer is nowhere near completion um, and when I talk about operationals the operations that you can do it's just that I've imagined them which is the joy of model railway 
So, um, this will eventually split onto here and one into here to create a three road depot. Two roads go into there where the Hornby 33, sorry, 37 and the V trains 47, which there will be a video of that coming up soon. And then one round the back where there's currently a brake van sitting. Now these are placed on these aren't placed on any tracks, these are just there to like help me plan what's happening. Okay, so from here. And then the platform four, platform five joins and it runs round into along here. Right behind the gauge master box there's a level crossing. It's a double one. I just need to replace it with a single level crossing or a piece of track, I haven't decided yet. Cars are in a really tight curve. Yeah, that that's flexi track, so I think it's I think it's even below first radius. Not entirely sure. But the train seems to run round it okay. So it's there and you can't see it too much. So this this section of the layout is all Pico Flexi track. Along with the this end of the goods loop. And then Pico Flexi track just made it much easier for laying the actual track itself. So that comes up up the embankment, which is landscaped. Well, it's grass matted, this is loose grass matted. It's not neatly grass matted as I was running out and had to use odd bits. I'll cover them over. And the grass mat has cre creased a bit, although I've tried I tried my best not to. So this is this is built up with these hills are built up with paper mache over wooden structures. Here you can see a cross section of it. I've cut a bit away to allow clearance. So you have wooden struts filled in with newspaper balls covered over with masking tape then we well it's thick masking tape you don't need to do that I just find it easier when applying and then when applying the paper mache which is over the top and then finally the grass mat or sky grass here we have this is the approach into B Craig station which is the end of the ramp sign it's um it's a west coast sorry west highland Main line inspired. Well, not really, it's just any small highland line in Scotland. So we have a good shed, Hornby Scaledale. Hornby Scaledale. We'll go into the actual station itself um, a little later on. There's Here we have two trees in the layout, which make a, a lot of a di quite a lot of a difference. Here we have a power clip for the branch line. Because just now the power is divided into two controllers, both DC. Well, I'm, I am hopefully getting DCC. I'm going to get a DCC set very soon. Because it's the way forward, I believe. And I do like techy things. So, one controller powers the whole of the branch line. And another one, at the moment, powers this. Powers only platform two. So that's why I need DCC to open it all up. So here, we, here at the good shed, we have Hornby Scaledale good shed. This is just designed as a small rural good shed. Um, so like for a maybe like a uh, what do you call it van? Like one of those container ones. Real freight, I think. That's what it's called. Or maybe a Royal Mail, like one like this. Not advertising really modeler there, which is one of my, which is my second favorite really magazine behind Model Rail. I prefer Model Rail as it goes into better detail over articles and how to do stuff, but Real Modeler is more widely available and has more layouts, so I get them both. And here we have the British Rail van, British Rail Ford Transit that I got at Model Rail Scotland a few years ago. See, it says Ford in front. And we also, at the depot, have, surprisingly, for a 
worker on British Rail, a Lotus Elise, and a police Mini Cooper van. And we also have a water pump. So here we have Beecroig Station itself. Two carriage, two two platform. It joins over there. Comes down to here. So you have Hornby scale there platforms. And this, which is what's well, Hornby scale there. I don't know the range. Well, apart from scale there. But I thought it did look, it looks quite. Might be from the Seattle and Car Seattle and Carlisle range, but I think it looks quite West Highlandish, and especially if this gets painted kind of a Scotrail type blue, which I may or may not do because it's quite like the red or maroon. So here we have, and um, instead of having platforms over here, I've decided to build this walkway thing out of cardboard, which looks nothing at the moment. But I shall build it up. And because of lack of space, the buffers are actually being built into the hill, this like, banking here. Well, I wasn't, I was, wasn't planning on having buffers, but then thought, what if I forget to stop a train that comes plowing through here and ruins my scenery work? That would annoy me. So in stage now we have the one five eight and the one o one. Backman Hornby. Scotrail, SPT Scotrail, both of which have reviews coming up very soon, so stay tuned. So I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to Dean Junction. Um, listen out, or keep post, keep tuned, and subscribe up top for more updates and reviews and anything else I'm doing.